Even though I've been milking a cow for seven years now, my wife Michelle has never learned how to do it herself. But I'm about to go on a vacation to Florida with my uncles and cousins, and instead of paying somebody to do the milking for us while I'm gone, Michelle volunteered to learn how to do it. This is gonna be good. How do you feel about cow udders? I don't like them. <laughs> So she does know how to clean the milk bucket and she pretty well knows how it goes together but it still takes a little bit of getting used to putting it together rather than just taking it apart. If I'm ever away and need somebody to do chores while she's here at home it's usually just like one or two mornings and so that's pretty simple to get somebody but I'm going to be gone for four days so she volunteered to do this. Should be interesting. Yesterday morning, Michelle came out and I did all the milking stuff, just kind of letting her watch to see how things are done. This morning, I'm gonna have her to do some of the stuff and we'll see how it goes. Before we actually get the cow in the milking stall for milking, she's gotta get things ready. She's gonna put feed in there for the cow to have while she's being milked. Hay up there for when she runs out of feed. You gotta make sure that the stall is clean so that you're not got all nasties on the floor for the milk bucket and get the milker hooked up and we're ready to get the cow in here. Push her out of the way so that she doesn't start eating that. Go away. Get, Maddie. Get. Get out of here, Maddie. That's how I feel. I want my morning tea. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Maddie. She's not going <laughs> to listen to me. Be the boss cow. <laughs> she doesn't like me. Oh. Now get out of her way. Okay, once she gets up in there. And now tie her tail. Yep. <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> She's pulling it away from me. Tying up her tail is obviously not something that's like absolutely vital to getting a cow milked, but for me it is because I don't want to get swat in the face with nasty tail. And her tail is nasty right now. This is honestly the part I'm dreading the most. I just think it's gross. And she thinks that I'm a wimp for not changing the baby's diaper often enough. Totally different. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <What's that? laughs> so the most important thing here is that you get the teats clean, but you want the rest of the udder clean too, just so that stuff's not dripping all over the place. Start with the teats so that you're not getting anything else from the udder yeah. onto the teats then later. She's squirting me. And also, did you check the end of the teats? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Gotta check the end of those teats because sometimes just a little bit of dirt or something gets stuck like in the, I think it's called an orifice at the end. And you wanna make sure that's off there because obviously when that squirts out then, then it's gonna get in your milk. So if she's all clean and dry, then go ahead and get the squirts out. Oh, is he? Izzy is going to be here able to help her and I guess she doesn't want to quite go as far as to squirt the milk out of the udder herself so Izzy does know how to do a little bit of hand milking so he's going to get the squirts out. If there is bacteria there that's the highest count of bacteria is just those first few squirts and now we should be ready to put the milker on. So you take the long tail and put it on the other side of her body so that then you can reach under her belly to pull it towards you. I'm so proud of my girl. up itself. So once you, pretty much once you touch it on there, it'll like suck on. Is that it? That's it. Woo! Got She's milk. milking a cow. <laughs> Pretty hot, huh? <laughs> so talk to me about milking a cow. How does it feel? Empowering. <laughs> um, I mean, it just feels nice because often, like if Cody will get sick, he doesn't get sick often. But if he has flu or something, I always feel bad that he has to come out here and do it. I come out here like just all hunched <laughs> over and miserable, but 
She doesn't know how. And that's okay. Like, yeah. one thing, one reason she didn't want to learn how to milk is so then I wouldn't take advantage <laughs> of it and be like, hey, honey, I got to leave quick. Can you milk the cow for me? And I know there's yeah. sometimes that I would do that, and I don't want to do that. So it's okay. Well, and another really big thing for me with not milking was I have always had babies, and Eden right. is about two now. And so it doesn't feel quite as odd to come out here leaving all the kids inside. It's funny because, like, on a lot of the Facebook groups that I'm a part of and like people that comment on my videos and stuff, it's often the women that are milking the cows, but for some reason with us, it's like she didn't really have, want to have anything to do with it and it's <laughs> something that I really wanted to do. Yeah. But the way it works out for us is she likes to do the garden stuff and I like to do the animal stuff and it usually just works out pretty well. I mean, I'm probably coming across as a terrible wimp, but like I didn't, I didn't grow up with cows and I was always the gardener. I mean, in real life, I'm not really a wimp, am I? Like, I am not a wimp. No. It's just something that didn't fit. It's just like udders, I mean, honestly, they are weird. That's <laughs> just all there is to it. They're just kind of creepy. But it is pretty simple though, right? Yeah, it, it is simple. And the milker takes the hardness out of it. Right. Like, for me, like being up against the cow and milking and stuff, like I just don't find that romantic. And I know <laughs> some women do, but I do not. Right. So. I think the hardest thing will be is Having the milker can work really well, but if something doesn't go right with it, like every once in a while, yeah. it doesn't seal right or something, and she'll need to try to figure that out. If the cow doesn't want to be cooperative, I mean, I'm not scared to push the cow around, stuff like that. That's something that she's not used to, so it could be a little interesting. My dad's only a couple miles away if she needs some help. Izzy's here to help. He's only nine years old, but he knows what he's doing. He's really good at it. Very responsible young chap. Yeah. She does already know, too, all about the cleaning the milker and the straining, because she already does that. I usually clean the milker when I come in, but she usually does the straining. And every once in a while, she has to clean the milker for me, so she already knows how to do all that stuff. The main thing was being out here with the cow and taking care of that stuff. If the milking is going for a long time and she's getting antsy and she runs out, you can give her some Stop. more. You gotta just kind of reach over her head and dump it. Yep. So we try to do things like grass fed around here, but I do give her some grain at milking. It helps her hold still. That was especially important when I was doing the hand milking. But even with the milker, it's good when she's holding still. And when she runs out of grain, I really don't want to give her more, so I give her some alfalfa pellets. Yeah, that one's looking empty. Did you just take it off? Yeah, take that one off and just make sure it points down. Pull down on the cup thing a little bit just to like get it to really oh. suck it out. And I would just take it off now. It looks really empty. Ah! Why does she do that? It's just like a sneeze or a burp or something. I think she's going to attack me every time she does it. Yeah, that feels empty. So go ahead and take that one off. <laughs> Mad A. Might want to do one more thing first. I've forgotten to untie that sometimes. <laughs> now you gotta kinda coax her out, just kind of. Come on. Yeah. You, go. you gotta kinda keep pushing. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you just close the door right away. Sometimes she tries to tear back in. All done, how was that? Easier than I thought. Yeah. Now it's getting the milk back into the house and getting it strained and everything, but she's already a pro at that, so there's nothing for me to teach her there. This filter is like one of the best things that ever happened to me. We have these small filters that fit right in here. We get these square jugs on U-Line and they're amazing. They fit so nicely into the refrigerator, unlike the round ones. And they also have these nice grips on them for children who have small hands. We would love to be able to use glass, but honestly, uh, we've had way too many accidents with broken glass. I had an awesome vacation in Florida. It was a break that I really needed, and I'm really thankful that Michelle was willing to do this for me. I'm really, really proud of her. Let's see how she did while I was gone.
perfectly clean. While Cody was teaching me, I was feeling slightly unsure of myself, but I have actually gained a lot of confidence and I've had no hiccups since he's gone. The first day, I'm pretty sure Maddie wasn't too sure about me. Um, when I went out to the pasture to get her, she laid her ears back flat and started peeing. And I've learned from experience that that means she's really annoyed. But after that first day, she was always standing at the door waiting for me, so I think I gained the confidence. So I'm pretty proud of myself, and I'm really happy that I know how to do this. I feel like it's made me more appreciative of, number one, what Cody does, but also of just the thing of the animals on our farm. I don't do very much stuff with the animals on our farm. I mean, it's not like I bonded with the cow necessarily while Cody was gone, but yet I have a different connection with her, and I think differently about her now that I've done this part of the chores. As you all have probably noticed, I'm not very much of a morning person. Um, I prefer to sleep in and drink tea and things like that in the morning. This has made me realize that it can actually be really nice to get out in the morning. Um, seeing that morning sunshine is nice. And I'm not saying that I'll make a habit of it, but I did enjoy it while I did it. I don't feel like I've made peace with poopy tails but I do feel like I've made my peace with udders, and it's about time that's happened. I'm a homesteader's mm -hmm. wife. Okay, back out. Mm. I will admit the one morning I forgot to untie her tail. <laughs> and I kept like trying to get her to back out and she just wouldn't. She would like go back so far and then she'd just like come back forward. And then by the time I figured out what was wrong, the knot had tied really tight around her tail and so it took me forever to get it off. Whatever. That was my only mistake. Because we're more than farmers. I think she's gonna do great. <laughs> oh my word, that's our new grass. Ah. Yeah, this isn't too bad if I carry it like this. Yeah. And I've been working out. <laughs> I do feel pretty bad lifting this thing out from under the cow. 